Good evening to all of you and welcome to the second day's session. Can all of you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hi. How are how is everybody doing? Good. You seem everybody is quiet. Yeah, we are doing good. Thank you. Hope you are doing good as well. Yes, I am. Thank you. While we wait for a few more to join, um, I just want to ask, did everybody receive the material handout that was sent via email yesterday? I received it. Who did not receive it? Looks like you all received it. I didn't receive. Who is that? Uh, my name is Rachna. Rachna, you didn't receive it? Yes, or maybe I'm just checking it quickly. Uh, I didn't see the email, but just give me a moment. Sure. Thank you. Okay. So while that is going on, I will do a quick roll call to make sure that I send out email to uh, those of you who are active um, and present in this Zoom, okay? So I will go with the names that are there in the participants here. Gauri Patel. Can you just identify? Yes, yes, I'm here. Can you have your video on too? Yes, hold on one second. Yes. Wonderful, thank you. Lisa? Yes, I'm here. You're here. Good. Yeah. Linda? Hello? Hi, Linda. Hi. Yes. Well, you have a beautiful background. <laughs> What's that? And Dr. Linda? Rachana, yeah, you just mentioned that. Yes, correct. Rashida. Rashida. Here. Yes, hello. Hi, is your video on? Yep, I'm right here. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you now. Thank you. And then Roshni. Roshni. Roshni's iPhone. Are you still there? Okay. Sakina. <coughs> I'm here. Hi, Sakina. Hi. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm great. So did you all receive the email? Yes. 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 Okay. Did I leave out anybody? Tish Ambrose. Tish. Hi, Tish. Are you there? Yes. 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 There's an echo because we're here together. <laughs> oh, I see. Hi. Patrick, Patrick and Tish. <laughs> you. And uh, who else? Sub Rain, who is this? Can you identify? S U B R N A R E.
Keshab. Hi, this is Keshab Chopra. Hi, Keshab. <laughs> and you are, um, okay, your ID is what? Um, who is Subnarin? Keshab Chopra. Okay, so did I leave out anybody? Kiran, Kiran Johal, can you just, Kiran? Kiran, are you there? Naresh. Yes, hi. Hey, Naresh, how are you? Okay, Patrick. Yes, hello. Oh. Hi, Patrick. And then who else? Did I leave out anybody? Looks like Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth, how are you? I can't hear you. You're muted. Hello, everyone. I'm just part of administration. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but Thank I'm enjoying the class. Thank you. Sure. Um, once again, welcome to all of you. And um, one of the things I want to introduce to all of you is when you go to any of the Brahma Kumari Center, or you meet a Brahma Kumari, they will greet you by saying Om Shanti. And two words, Om Shanti. Om means I'm a point of light, soul. Shanti means peace. Soul's original quality is peace. So we greet each other by saying Om Shanti. So by saying Om Shanti, it is a reminder for us that I need to stabilize myself that I am a soul, not a body. That's the whole idea. So that we need regular practice to become soul conscious. It is not a one day, one month, one year kind of effort. It's an ongoing effort. Practice makes man perfect. Those word. You know, these beautiful words we have heard for many years that still works here too. Okay. And so I say Om Shanti, stabilizing myself that I'm a point of light and my original nature is peace. Can we all say Om Shanti as well? Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Okay. So next time when you say Om Shanti, you try to stabilize and become aware that you are a soul, not a body. It's a good reminder to have. With that, let us do kind of a recap of what we did yesterday, or what we learned yesterday. And for this, we will go into meditation and in this if you can have your eyes open you can gently gaze at something in front of you and if you are not comfortable you can close your eyes but just remember meditation is something that we always practice with open eyes okay. so as i sit comfortable relaxed I take a couple of breaths, deep inhalation, exhalation. I gently bring my attention, focus to the center of my forehead. I 
I disconnect from all the active thoughts. And visualize myself to be a point of light. I am an eternal light. I am a living energy. I am not this body. I have no beginning, I have no end. I am beyond time. And beyond the physical space. I am on a journey on this planet Earth. I have this beautiful body made out of five elements. I, this tiny point of light, look at this physical world through the physical eyes. I the point of light, I hear the noise through the ears. I the point of light, I speak through the mouth. I the soul, I perform all physical activities using this beautiful instrument, the body. I have three subtle faculties. They all work for me. My mind my intellect and my son's scars. In the mind, I get all the images, thoughts, feelings. And I feed this information to the intellect which processes it, analyzes, comparing, judging, taking the decisions, right, wrong, profit, loss, good, bad, and then passes that information through the brain, physical brain, and the body organs to perform the action. When the action is performed, that action gets recorded as a sanskar, impression. mind, intellect, and sanskars, they work together. In this, 
in order to break our old habits, old behavior pattern. It is the intellect that needs to be strengthened, that need to be div divine, that need to be sharpened. Self introspection helps tap into this by giving the right thoughts to process and thereby the intellect gets stronger. We become loving peaceful, pure, find solutions to problems, deal with calmness in adversity, replace fear with strength, all of this happens in your inner world through the mind, intellect. We also explored how the consciousness impacts our inner state. If I am body conscious, which is limited. The negative qualities come into play. When I go beyond the negative physical, then I can use the quality of the soul. We learned soul's original nature and quality is that of peace love, purity, knowledge, bliss, and power. Any divine quality, whether it is caring, confidence, having patience, tolerance, they all come from the combination of one of these original qualities of the soul. So by strengthening these original qualities, it is possible to develop divine qualities. Then we become divine beings. Soul in the present world is filled with negativity, anger, ego, jealousy, hatred, lust. They all have taken deep seat in the soul. By practice, of meditation and spiritual understanding, we gain victory over these negative forces and become self-sovereign king. Relationships become beautiful, harmonious, We respect everybody and respect will come to you. When I start to change, the world around me changes. I cannot change anybody, but I can change myself.
in this beautiful feeling to come back to your consciousness of this physical body. If you have closed your eyes, you may gently open it. Thank you. Meditation is an art if you learn to have self-talk lovingly with positive words, then you will enjoy it. I hope you all enjoyed this journey now. Now let us get to the session for today. Can all see my screen? Yes. Yeah, I can see that. Can you please mute if? Okay. Now, in this, I just mentioned about we did have an experience of meditation, and in the meditation, in order to help yourself and to progress in meditation. One of the things that we might pay attention to will be in detachment. And I will go over the different levels of detachment you might want to work on so that you get good experience in your meditation. body consciousness you know we all we can use our we use our mind and intellect looking at the body bodily belongings bodily things we use our mind intellect in thinking of the body bodily belongings whether it is my car my cell phone my computer my wife my husband they are all limited. Whenever we remember anything limited, it is it doesn't give strength to the soul because we always have this comparison and we size them up, take sides, criticize, judge. All of these things happen when we have these bodily objects or body senses like the five sense organs. Detaching from this will help in meditation. The second is the roles. We all have different roles. Many have some have many roles. Roles could be, you know, father, mother, a nurse, a doctor, president, you name any of the job that you do will come with roles. And even this role is also limited. So in the first case, 
thinking using our mind and intellect thinking of the body body objects or the senses is limited and so is the role so we become either body conscious or role conscious and the third is the story we all have our own stories how we were brought up and how you know we didn't like certain things or certain people did certain things to me in life i keep sharing that with others which is not a good story or i may say some nice story but even those are limited and if you look at for meditation soul is a point of light and soul is eternal soul is unlimited to go beyond the limited aspect whether it is body roles or story it will benefit in meditation regular practice of spiritual study knowing more about the soul how the body functions how our relationship with other individuals are how i can change my own behavior to be a better individual find solutions rather than contributing to problems or describing about the problems so these are some of the things to think about any question on this everybody is quiet which is i take it as you are all clear paying close attention <laughs> good all right all done i'll make that elizabeth sorry one second okay now i want to bring in a new um concept um which is interesting and um this is god okay. and um, we have heard so many things in different ways different people have different beliefs and um, different ideas about god and um, what we understand is we all are a point of light soul soul as mind intellect and sanskar no matter what color what geographical location somebody might be living in but they all are soul mind intellect sanskar are part of the soul the three faculties likewise there is one other soul which is exactly similar to a human soul point of light and it also has the three faculties mind intellect and sanskars but this soul is the purest form of energy
just like how a soul cannot be seen through the physical eyes even the supreme soul cannot be seen through the physical eyes but soul's existence can be experienced similarly god's existence can be experienced using mind and intellect the resource mind is so powerful that it can travel beyond space beyond time whilst sitting here i can go to los angeles i can go to a different country i can dive deep into a ocean who travels it is the soul it travel anywhere so fast so what i think if i am thinking of los angeles and then the image will come and if i hold it for some more time i can think about how vibrant that city is how the traffic is in that place means i am actually meditating with that city if you think of your you know spouse boyfriend girlfriend you have so many qualities that you will be thinking using your mind and intellect in other words you are meditating with the object or the thing that you have in the mind whilst we are sitting let us get into a meditative mode and try to explore the existence of god as you imagine you are a point of light likewise imagine another point of light which is the supreme energy or the highest source of divine energy soul's original qualities are peace love purity bliss power the supreme energy quality or ocean of peace ocean of love ocean of purity ocean of bliss almighty authority just visualize you the point of light in the screen of your mind bring in another point of light the supreme energy and you are receiving the rays of peace of love of purity you're getting all the powers in this silence sacred space it becomes easy to connect with the supreme energy just like how we charge our cell phones by connecting to the main power supply 
the main power supply for the soul is a supreme energy. With that, let me share the next slide. Oh, man. I think I, by mistake, I changed the host. I made Elizabeth the host. Hold on. Elizabeth, are you there? Give me a minute. Let me just um, call her. You know, by mistake, I made her the host and I cannot share the screen now. <laughs> what technology this is. <laughs> Bear with me, I'll try to. Can you log out and log in back in? Um, uh, sorry, think... uh, Mohan, I will, I will make you the host. Please, sorry, I, by mistake. Yes, so sorry, one second. Thank you. No, she had requested me to make the co-host and then I made her the host. Okay, thank you, sister. Now just make me co-host. No, I cannot. Okay, no worries, don't worry. Hold on, let me do that. Make co-host. Make the co-host, okay. I made you the co-host now. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Sorry for the disturbance. Sorry, sorry. No worries. Thanks. So thanks, everybody, for the patience. And I am going to share. Okay. I don't need no. Okay. I'm go here. Share the screen. All right. Can you all see the screen? Yes, I yes. do. What? Yes. Thanks. Yes. So let us go into the, you know, how God is being um, looked up from different uh, traditions or different faith. Okay. You can just um, watch each of this.
you all saw this. And you can see how different faith, different religion look up God as. <clears throat> There are a lot of common things in their own beliefs about God. What do you think it would be like to have access to God's qualities in your daily life? Anybody wants to? What do you think it will be to have God's quality in your day-to-day -day lives? You know, right from morning when you wake up, you're with your family, do your things, go to work, meet people, and then you come back, have lunch, and do other things whether you meet in social gatherings or parties or in a profession that you are in, whatever the job you are doing, how it is to have God's quality while doing all of these things. We you see things from a perspective of love. Of love. Mm -hmm. And then? And respect. Respect for the self and others. Yes. Yeah. That is mukti while living, while being whatever I am. Yeah, very nice. Mukti while you are living, very good. And what else? You'll feel a sense of completeness. Sense of completeness. Excellent. Anything else? Tranquility. Tranquility. Yes. Yeah. Selflessness, detachment, I think. Selflessness, detachment. See how we look up so high about God. What qualities you would like to have in a perfect mother, in a perfect father, perfect teacher, perfect friend, perfect beloved? What qualities do you think will be ideal for these roles. Empathy. And? Purity. Sorry? I said purity. Purity, yeah. Purity. Purity. Patience. Patience. Mm -hmm. strength we can also have perfect husband perfect wife include that as well understanding some more a oneness with all things and all beings very nice Peaceful. Beauty. Sorry. Go ahead, Satish. Sorry. You'll be at peace, right? Peaceful. Peaceful. Unbiased. Unbiased. How wonderful it will be, right? 
when we have a perfect father perfect mother perfect teacher perfect friend right who does not look at the weaknesses who is always supportive always helping always uplifting caring very genuine qualities or divine qualities in the present world we have so much of negativity and do you see that this father mother teacher in this present world to be perfect like what we just described you all described do you find any human being having or had playing the role of perfect father mother teacher friend do you find it no i don't you don't good i did i did once you you did once what yes what did you do i came to the brahma kumaris okay 30 years okay. ago and i met a lady named shandrika came from india yeah wow interesting you all heard that yeah. <laughs> so she is talking about the um the instrument um, you know brahma kumari um, of san francisco and um so that's what lisa is mentioning um about her she has dedicated no it was it was no it was actually in los angeles okay in 1991 when the lady came from india it was her first trip to united states ever wow yeah i think it's a different chandrika i think it's a different one different one okay, okay. yeah because yeah. even even the the in charge one here in san francisco her name is chandrika as well so oh. that's part yeah is she short she is um, not short she is um, average i would say 5 5 5 4 5 5 kind of yeah i think they differ different okay. one but yeah. good Brown thank come on thank you for the um, you know input yeah. that you what <laughs> one one time one time sure yeah oh my what i am trying to say is if we look at the world 20 25 years ago you know it was lot more better than what it is now i'll give a statistics you know about 150 years ago or maybe 200 years ago the world population at that time was about 1.5 billion i don't know you can do a google um search on that and just 150 or 200 years later we have the world population of 7.5 billion or 8 billion when the population increases competition increases when competition increases the intellect usage to be more productive thinking you know being more creative and uh, to be the best from the lot it gets overworked right and if you look at zoom you know i see this zoom um, every day or every few days 
there is a little upgrade that goes on security breaches so many things right you think and then there are so many other things come into play as the if you have a family of one child you give a good upbringing if you have four or five the quality will reduce you cannot give the same kind of attention to all the kids so when the population increases the quality of life kind of reduces right so at this time when there is so much of chaos and negativity in the world if we learn the art of being with the supreme we can contribute better to the self and help the world as well so what i'm trying to say it is god is a point of light quality of peace love purity truth spiritual powers it is all in ocean ocean of love ocean of peace ocean of happiness and when i forge this communion yoga means communion where it is not a one way traffic it is a two way the more i stabilize myself in the awareness that i am a soul and have this link through the thoughts of mind and using the intellect i am able to draw the power or energy from the highest source thereby it makes it possible to forge all relationships with god like god to be the father as we were discussing you cannot find a perfect father in this human world at this time there are defects weaknesses impurities in every single human soul now but god is the highest energy the most pure form of energy and this supreme energy has no traces of negativity when i am able to connect to this source the soul gets charged with the same highest energy whatever we are learning the concept is given by the supreme soul the teacher as a guide supreme soul guides us at the time when we are in the chaos when there is so much of negativity then we realize the value of love peace purity bliss not when i am having those qualities but when i am not having it this becomes valuable so guiding at this time when we need these at this time to have to make god my best friend friends in the present world may deceive us can tell lies can show us a wrong path can take us to a different direction but if i rely with god i can make god as my best friend and beloved we love human souls we feel that we found the right, right match 
and after six months we will have fights and our relations break our heart break and then we go again in search of a new relation thinking we will get that love attention caring help so that we feel good but again after 2 years 3 years we will start to find impurities weaknesses human souls change situations change people's behavior change constant changes is happening and as a mother very caring loving forgiving when i learn to have this relation you name the relation you can force the relation with the supreme and thereby the desire of a friend the desire of a mother or a father can be fulfilled with forging one relationship having all of these things in that with the supreme because there is no guarantee with the human souls in the world today no wonder we see the different faiths different tradition have so much regard respect and love for god any question on this was it informative good if so i believe that meditation is a the more we practice meditation the more all of these things what we are learning as concepts will become real i have been practicing this since 1990 i live in america so do you time is money if there is no benefit why would i spend time where i don't get any benefit spiritual lifestyle has changed a lot of things for me whether this divex of anger arrogance ego they were all there but this practices help me move away from that rise above with using this mind and intellect positivity has come inside my relationship with others have become very harmonious so with this i would like to take like 20 25 minutes of very good meditation session and i believe information is good but experience is something very precious i believe experience is the best teacher you may say oh i spoke well is sweet whatever it is what did you get what is your experience experience is is so important 
when you are experiencing something even 50 people tell what you are doing is not right you will not believe that because you are experienced that's the power of experience yeah so let us take a good 15 20 minutes and practice i'm going to guide with these thoughts and i encourage you all to read those material that has been sent via emails and also watch the youtube videos that will help your own journey on the spiritual path just listening i will not get power whatever i listen i need to use my mind and intellect to practice it then i become embodiment of that just like you know i want to lose 10 pounds by going to the gym i make all the plans excellent plan they're all knowledge oh i go on these 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 days and i'm going to do these kind of workouts good you make a note of all of that and when the day comes to start implementing it there is a list of excuses that come out oh the weather is not letting me go it is rainy it is cold we give all kind of excuses how can we lose 10 pounds i need to do it just making plans doesn't give me any strength so i'm going to play a little background music and then we'll go with the meditation unless if anybody has any questions so far that we have learned or come had a question sure. we can take it now yes go ahead satish the question was i think you had briefly mentioned that when you imagine like you're imagining yourself to be in la at that time the soul is doing the traveling for you right so is it is it by literal sense or does it just go so quickly it does it leave your body so soul doesn't leave the body but souls um, the faculty of mind um, you know which um, since you have seen los angeles even if you have physically not seen it you have seen through pictures and videos and that is good enough for the images to be brought on the screen of your mind and you don't travel physically that far but you travel get that image on the mind screen it is just not images you can play videos you can you can zoom in you can see crystal clear a lot of things not physically going there but on the screen of your mind while sitting here i cannot go and touch god but i can get those qualities that feeling on the screen of my mind that's why the faculties of the soul mind intellect sanskars they are all powerful out of the three intellect is the boss so i need to sharpen my intellect i need to make the intellect divine even if the mind brings all garbage information if the intellect is strong it will knock out all the unwanted and process only what is beneficial for that yeah mm-hmm. good any other questions i uh, have sorry Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, so I've always understood that we access God from a state of no mind because the mind, the ego is part of the mind. So I'm confused about the mind and the intellect, what is different. And also, um, if, if God is oneness and the supreme being, wouldn't the positive and the negative, all of it be God? But it seems like there's this separation. Oh no, this is not part of God. 
this negativity. So I guess that's two questions. Okay. So some of the things um, we are still covering the concepts and um, what I suggest is to hold off for some time since we are going to the different uh, concepts. And now we are in the concept of um, understanding God. And as I said, right, we come with our own beliefs and experiences and they come into uh, play and then makes us think differently. But to answer, um, God also has negative. Our belief is God is always ever pure. And his ocean of love, ocean of peace, ocean of happiness, the almighty authority. All the concepts that we are learning was given by supreme energy. You will know that as in the due course. Okay. Sure. Anybody else? So I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of my segue into when you said we want sharpen our intellect. And so I think you kind of just answered it for me to sharpen my intellect is to think from a God state, everything that's light, everything that's pure, everything that is positive, because yes. I too, in my belief, believe that God is nothing about him is dark or negative. Everything is the opposite, positive and light. So by that, by holding on to that belief, is that how we start to sharpen and retrain our intellect? That is one belief, but um, as we grow further in this concept, and then we also have an advanced um, uh, training session where we clearly go into depth of how God really does change impure human souls to a pure human soul. They become divine soul by the God's quality, just like God's quality. We will not become God, but God-like qualities. And that is a process of spiritual study, a daily spiritual study. We we have a discipline to follow every day, which I do and all the Brahma Kumaris do at all the centers worldwide. There are more than 700,000 souls who practice this on a daily basis, getting up early like 3.30 in the morning and practicing yoga or meditation because soul consciousness is, it does need effort. You know, in, in, in the spiritual studies, we get the words that becoming soul conscious is not like going to your auntie's home. It's not that easy. I hop into a car and then drive to auntie's home. So it does need effort. We need to do some sacrifices and discipline ourselves. Just like the example of you know, you want to lose 10 pounds, you plan all of the thing. And then I go one day and then, oh, I did so many things. I worked out two hours and then do you expect 10 pounds to be lost in one workout? No, we, we have to keep our day, go our day. And then you want to lose four or five pounds, you have to work out for several months and then you see the result. Yeah, so I leave it there. And then as we, go further, you will get to know. Yeah. Any other, before we, I am more interested in the meditation thing so that it gives, you know, benefit and it helps you. And we all need to do meditation in our own way. Um, how you, you know, get that soul conscious and then how you use your mind and intellect to have positivity all the time because all the negative things, they come up. You have to deal with it. You have to fight it through. So meditation is something, you know, very beneficial. This is my personal experience. It's, it's hard initially, but I never gave up. I never gave in. And I'm so confident. I'm so happy. Today, I'm in front of all of you 
to share these concepts. I I feel very good about it. Yeah. Okay. I would like to add. I hundred percent agree with you. Go ahead. I hundred percent agree with you. Uh -huh. uh, man is known by the company he keeps. When I'm doing meditation, I'm associating myself with the God. So that that qualities gradually start coming to me. And I'm meditating. Earlier, I was meditating for one hour a week. But yeah. this COVID, I'm meditating two hours a day. Excellent. Better, much better. Okay. Let us get to the meditation practice, and I will try to play some soft music. It is not necessary that. Um, you have to have the music on but it's you know good to start initially As you sit comfortable, bring your attention, focus to the center of your forehead. Give this time for your own self. I am a pure eternal energy. I'm playing my part using this physical body. My original nature is of peace. love I become still to focus and hold in the screen of my mind but I'm a point of light. Visualize my father, supreme energy, point of light, exactly like me. He is giving me all the inheritance of his qualities. I 
peace, love. Purity. I see the rays coming on to me. He is my teacher. Is teaching me my original qualities. He's telling me my own journey. He knows all the problems that I have. I give all my problems to the Supreme Soul. through my intellect and I become light. is also my true and best friend. I share everything personal, all problems with him. He always gives me the best solutions. I feel I am protected. I am secure. As a mother, he accepts me the way I am with all the defects. He forgives me for the mistakes. He's showing me unconditional love. I am his child. I am an innocent child. I'm being colored by godly qualities.
We lovingly call him Baba. What a beautiful awakening you have given me, Baba. I feel very relaxed, very calm inside. I hand over all my burdens. As a beloved, his love is so uplifting, so real. I'm getting myself filled with this loving energy. Through which I'm able to care. I'm able to understand. I'm able to help others with this loving energy. Just for a minute, hold this thought and visualize you the point of light in front of the supreme energy, Baba. You are being showered with all the rays of divine qualities, and you are receiving. these rays Silence is golden. As I sit in solitude, I see my mind and intellect are in harmony. What a beautiful space to be in.
Now I gently come back to my physical consciousness of the body. And I gently open my eyes.